Hi everyone this is Ajit from Yoser Production and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can transfer the 3D tracking data from Boozoo to Blender. Okay many people actually requested for this tutorial. So okay so what are the things we need here we need first of course the Boozoo. Uh, if you're watching this tutorial that I'm hoping you have the Boozoo program. Uh, okay, so Buzu something around I'm using like 5.0.2. This is the latest version of the Buzu. Uh, after this this version of the Buzu, the Bicon company have discontinued this program. And the second thing we need is Blender 2.91. Remember this this version of the Blender we need actually. Of course, this is the oldest version of the Blender, but we need this. And the third thing is we need Blender latest version. Like I'm making this thing in the month of August in 2023 so in 2023 in the month of August we are using Blender 3.6 that is LTS version long-term support so the three things we need we don't need any extra third-party plugins or uh, any paid softwares here okay so without wasting the time let's get a start into the Boozoo so I'm not focusing here how to track the video footage inside the Buzu. So if you need actually uh, advanced tracking tutorial for Buzu, then you can make a comment and if I feel that I should make a tutorial on it, then I definitely will make it. So here in this particular video, we are not going to focus how to track the footage inside the Buzu, but we are focusing here how to transfer the data from Buzu to Blender. Okay. I'm going to import the footage and my footage frame rate is around 29.97 apply because my footage is in P dot PNG format. So it is asking whether my footage having some mask or not. So simply I will click on no and then close this task manager. And now roughly I will track uh, my footage and wait for it. Okay, so the tracking has been done here. Now I will simply click on the camera solve. I'm not gonna click anywhere because I'm just making rough tracking. Okay, so roughly our footage has been tracked and now I'm going to simply export this into .txt format. Remember this, export the camera solve and give the path where you wanna finally uh, export your uh, file. So I'm giving the name tracking, okay? And the save type as a .txt. You can also change from here export type .txt, okay? and a scale around because the blender scale is around 10 with the normal value of 1 here okay so click on save now the second thing we have to remember is we have to open blender 2.91 the oldest version of the blender I have already installed the oldest uh, oldest version of the blender delete everything that you got by default click on scripting tab click on new I will provide this Python code that I have created in the year of 2017 but the dis disadvantage of this code is it won't work the, in the latest version of the blender I'm hoping that I can solve for, uh, in future for the latest version of the blender so until that you have to wait Control A to select the code. Control C to copy this code. Now jump over the Blender 2.91 into the scripting tab. You have to paste this, this code. Now run this code from here. Now locate your 
tracking data file that we have just tracked from the Buzu and exported and here we got tracking.txt select this file and input buzu.txt file here now there is a problem actually the track in the buzu everything was like normal our camera was on landscape view but in blender we got something like upside down like our camera is looking from the top to bottom view but this is not how we got the file and this is not how we got the tracking data actually we can fix this inside the blender itself but i don't want that you should work on the blender so simply delete everything that you have imported from the buzu now go to the buzu program go to edit preferences 3d display remember this thing preferred camera orientation here by default is selected y as up z or z as a back we have to select any of these two bottom like z up y forward or z up x forward so in all cases blender is always support z as a up as you can see here our z axis is always on top in blender okay so as you can see here the z axis is always on top this is how we um, set buzu orientation camera orientation for, for blender so you can select any of them i'm going with z up x forward hit ok now it won't work because we have to restart this program but what about we have already tracked our footage here so first we gonna save this 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 file desktop okay don't give any name and now close the program now blender open this untitled project again okay and now we have to export this file again because this export is now changed again we have to give the destination I'm giving the name tracking try to okay the save type is .txt or if you want to you can change from here as well the scale size around 10 click on save open blender 2.91 go to scripting tab we have a script already there because we didn't close the program run the script locate your buzu.txt file again and remember this time tracking try to import the file and now you can see everything is nicely like like we have done in buzu and same type of file we have imported in the blender okay so our tracking data is here in blender 2.91 but remember it is oldest version of the blender now what we have to do nothing just we have to save this blender file in desktop tracking data blender okay save this file and in the desktop you can see our blender dot blend file has been saved now you have to open the old sorry the latest version of the blender in this month 
I am making this video in August 2023. At this time, we are using 3.6.1 as a latest version of the Blender. And this is LTS version of the Blender that is called Long Term Support. Now delete everything that you got by default in this Blender. Now go to because we have to append that oldest version blender file into this newest version of the blender so go to file append because this file is in the desktop the tracking data blender double click here always remember go to in objects and here we got two files buzu camera and buzu point clouds select both of them don't do anything here okay simply click on append now you can see everything is nicely imported into the latest version of the blender and definitely it is working okay so because we have select the camera and you can see we have only 100 frames here just put 100 frames as a last frame and in the object property and the object is camera we got the animated location rotation and scale now what we have to do here we are going to click on a camera view and we can import the footage as well um, add images you can import as images like sequence open and I have that on desktop in the footage folder select all of them and open it okay so uh, now you can play it here so w what we have to do first the first thing is we have to open the buzu okay in the buzu we have to change change the camera orientation type in 3d display you'll get from here um, preferred camera orientation first we have to select the z axis always up because our blender software support z axis as up okay select this thing hit ok then restart your program again buzu and then do your perfect tracking here export in dot txt format and then open blender 2.91 the oldest version of the blender import here because why we need this oldest oldest version of blender because our python code is supporting only 2.91 save this blender file like i saved on desktop like here now you can open the latest version of the blender and don't open the file just append that file remember this this is important thing don't open directly just append that file and inside the appending you you will get the folder name object select the both object buzu camera and buzu point clouds and import it here that is very simple so this is the solution how you can export the tracking the 3d camera tracking data from buzu and you can import into the blender if you have some problem and one more thing i will provide this uh, python code into the comment box and i will pin this on the top so you can copy this code and paste for your work okay thank you for watching this tutorial i'm hoping you all got some solution from here